Now the Ebola thing makes so much sense to me. Welcome to hour number two of the world famous Chicky Jaguar show. Coast to coast, to border to border, all over the world, by the way. And all 50 plus stations throughout the U.S. and Canada. Monday through Thursday, we are live. Monday through Friday, whatever. 2 to 5 Central, 3 to 6 Eastern, 12 to 3 Pacific. 24 7 at JiggyJaguar.com. In this hour, we may talk to Mark Becker, our legal logic segment. We may talk to, uh, well, we're going to talk to a great guest in our next segment, Cynthia Hama. She sounds like she's, uh, she's British, the way I make her sound. Cynthia Hama. However, let's talk about this. Obama. Obama wins. President Barack Obama guy wins $14 billion in pledges for Africa investments. Now the Ebola thing makes so much sense. We won't get into that now. I'll read the story, then I'll give you my thoughts. President Barack Obama guy plans to announce today $14 billion in commitments from U.S. companies for investments in Africa, a centerpiece of his goal in strengthening commercial ties to the continent. More than a dozen companies, including General Electric, International Business Machine Corp., IBM, are making the pledge, which Obama is scheduled to outline during a U.S.-Africa business forum in Washington that is part of a three-day summit involving 14 African heads of state, according to administration officials. The White House said in a statement that the money will go into areas including construction, energy, finance, and technology. They will deepen U.S. economic engagements in Africa, fueling growth that will support broader African prosperity and emerging markets for U.S. businesses, the administration said. The White House declined to give specifics of the projects involved. Part of it is a $2 billion that will, G, that will um, have GE... Chief Executive Officer Jeffrey M. Elt said yesterday that his company plans to invest in Africa by 2018. Which will have Ebola cleared by then. By, uh, we'll get into that here in just a second. Uh, who asked for anonymity because the wider commitment hasn't been announced. Some is part of Obama's effort to shift the U.S. approach to Africa from proving aid, providing aid to fostering investment and trade after five years of foreign policy focused on expanding ties to Asia. The crisis in North Africa and the Middle East winding down wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and more recently confronting a more assertive Russia, Obama is turning to building a legacy in Africa. Now, uh, this goes on here to talk about all sorts of different things from uh, governments in Africa must draw on the talents of all the young people, including women and girls. Uh, there's all sorts of different things. All sorts of different things. However, here's where I think it gets fun. This whole Ebola, we got to cure Ebola. We got to we got to bring Ebola people to the United States. We got to help them out. First of all, they're trying to cure Ebola or come up with a vaccine for it. That vaccine will then be turned around and sold <laughs> to the people of Africa, it will also be um, given to people that are going over to try to build things in Africa. I think we all know where this is headed. I think we all know where this is headed, kids. We're going to Africa. Africa to cure Ebola so we could get in there and make some money. Follow the money. It all comes down to money. Isn't that nice? Oh. <laughs> this is exactly what's going on here. They are going to Africa to cure Ebola, they're bringing the guys here because they, they don't trust the medical care and they don't trust the technology in Africa. So we got to cure them here. We'll give them some vaccines. We'll create some stuff. And then all of a sudden we'll have the secure for Ebola. And then we'll run over to Africa and we'll vaccinate everybody. And then we'll send them to Africa and they can build some shit. 
<laughs> That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> See, I knew... I knew there was a bigger, bigger, bigger wide scale for this. God dang, I knew there was a big wide scale for this. Isn't that just fantastic? So here is um, here's situation. Um, It is going to be interesting. Very interesting moving forward. So that's pretty much what's going on. So we're going to do this. We're going to take a time out.